parts of northern Greene County and southern Polk County have been cleared of the extreme doubt drought status. However, the majority of southwest Missouri remains in a severe or moderate drought. And some farmers in northern Missouri are still hurting as they are in the worst category, exceptional drought. But as ag producers can apply for emergency water access or extra feed hay by going to the Department of Natural Resources website, we're hoping that they get some more relief. And it looks like we have had a little bit of relief yeah. in a lot of the Ozarks. Yeah, I mean, the rain has been a lot more generous in the month of August, and that's done a lot to alleviate some of the drought concerns that have developed over the course of the last several months. We've seen a steady easing of drought conditions here locally across the Ozarks, and I have every reason to believe that that's going to continue, at least in the short term, because of the rain that we found this week. And I want to start things off with a couple of pictures. This is a very interesting photo right here, and, and you don't see these too often. This is a, a similar to what we get when we get these shelf clouds, except in this case, it's called a roll cloud because it's actually detached from the cloud base. It's like a tube of air that's sort of rolling along uh, the uh, uh, surface of the earth there. And, and this is the scene that we, we got out of this picture. Just very interesting. Uh, I know there are a couple other photos that were sent in showing the same roll cloud from different perspectives, uh, at least here close to the Springfield area. Also, the rain. That was the big story from this morning into this afternoon. And one area that really saw some of the heavier rainfall totals down around Nixa, uh, James Ewing sending in and this photo of uh, rain totals in his backyard, you can see the rain gauge right there. And if you look real close, a little over four and a half inches of rainfall. Officially here in Springfield, over two and a half inches for the date. That is the biggest one day total that we've seen since February. It was good enough for a new daily record, beating out the old daily record. Uh, that goes back 130 years. Uh, also, with the rain that we had today, we really added on to what we've already seen for the month of August, and we're already looking at above normal rainfall for the month. Now we're looking at totals of nearly seven inches officially, and there are parts of Springfield that have actually seen maybe well in excess of seven inches, possibly in excess of eight inches. Certainly, there are places like that scattered across the Ozarks with some of the heavy rainfall that we've seen at times over the course of the last several weeks. Now, I, I mentioned Nixa. Here is a zoomed in shot of, of where we saw some of the heaviest rains today. Here's Springfield, James River right there, and it was from about James River south down to about Galena that we had this pocket of very heavy rainfall this morning into this afternoon where two to five inches was common. In fact, west of Highlandville and west of Spokane, we had uh, uh, totals that were probably in excess of five inches, and that led to some localized areas of flooding. Also notice most of the rain today falling along and west of Highway 65, the amounts much lighter east of Highway 65 where we had the heavier rains yesterday. That rain has since come to an end. We're looking at quiet conditions across the Ozarks. It looks like we're going to see, again, a lingering threat for showers here over southeast Missouri, northeast Arkansas, but most of the rest of the area should remain quiet. But weather ingredients are going to come back into play later tonight into tomorrow morning to our northwest. And it looks like we could see another area of showers and thunderstorms organizing further north than we've seen the last couple of mornings. Northeast Kansas into southeast Nebraska. That activity shifts east across northern and maybe central Missouri, but it could try to build down towards south central Missouri uh, during the afternoon. It's something to watch out for. About 67 for the low, 89 for the high tomorrow. And again, areas to our northeast is where we have the best shot at seeing uh, some shower and thunderstorm activity on Friday. As far as your seven day forecast, looks like we're going to see uh, a quieter forecast through the holiday weekend. Partly cloudy skies each day, a slight chance for an afternoon shower or thunderstorm with highs in the upper 80s and lows around 70. Okay, and what is our viewers club number tonight? Uh, that number is 164-755 and our jackpot is $600. All right, Jamie, thanks. And coming up